Hi guys. Havana, we're at Magic Kingdom, but we are headed somewhere to have, I don't know if it's lunch or an early dinner or whatever you want to call it, but we are headed to Disney's Polynesian Resort. And here's the crazy thing. We are walking to the Polynesian Resort. I know that sounds crazy, but we need to walk because Normally when we're on vacation, you know, you eat a little more and you eat no healthy stuff. So we're doing this. <laughs> Disney's Polynesian Resort has a quick service restaurant that is really good. Everybody talks about it. They have like these Thai coconut meatballs that I have been dying <laughs> to get. Maybe we'll hang out at the resort for a little bit, have some drinks, maybe because Magic Kingdom doesn't sell drinks. <laughs> so um, it's my birthday. And it's his birthday. Well, not today, but it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, but he's been saying that since we got here. And then we can get on a boat and come to come back to Magic Kingdom. So I think that's the plan, right, honey? Yep, sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, let me show you this walkway because this is brand new. All right, so really quick, I wanted to show you as you can see they have lights here because you can do this at night time I think this is very nice Lucas and I, we like to go for walks actually we've been doing it quite a lot lately like around, you know, where we live you get to see the monorail and it's really nice here just to chill just to be out of the park for a little bit and just like go for a walk you know, it's just nice sometimes so for those of you that don't know, that's Grand Floridian, all in white and red, and then Polynesian is back there. And there's the monorail. This resort is gorgeous, it's really beautiful. So is Polynesian, which is actually being remodeled right now, so it might look a little funky. Grand Floridian is really beautiful. One day we'll stay there. We just made it. There's Grand Floridian. Yep. We just made it to the Polynesian and you can tell because look at these trash cans. <laughs> it's always been said that you won't see a Tomorrowland trash can inside of Adventureland because yeah. it doesn't belong there. Yeah, that's true. So the fact that we just passed a Polynesian trash can means we're on Polynesian property. <laughs> so because Captain Cook's, which is where we're eating, because they're only doing mobile orders, we went ahead and placed the order and once you place it, you go ahead and pay and then you have an arrival window and then you tell it, I'm here, prepare my order. Technically, you can do that before you're even there so that when we get there, the food's ready. I'm going to show you guys some of the buildings here at Disney's Polynesian. Like I said, there is some construction going on. I can tell by that, see those doors? Mm -hmm. All the rooms, now we've never stayed here, so I don't know. I know the rooms are super, super big, like spacious. Uh, there's something with the bathrooms here that everybody says the bathrooms are amazing here, like really big. I think that what they're doing is all the rooms are going to be Moana theme. Look at this beautiful view, that nice swing. Can you imagine being here during fireworks? I'm sure it's amazing but you can tell that they're doing construction work in this building, like all these rooms. Yeah. And Disney's Polynesian is a DVC resort, so it has DVC rooms. I don't know which ones are DVC, unfortunately, but they're definitely working on those rooms. That is so exciting. I think Moana deserves more recognition. So it's kind of cool that they're doing that. I wish we could go in there and look. So we're pretty close because that right there is the pool, which is the lava pool. It's a really neat pool. I always look at the pools at the resorts because I love swimming. Um, they have a really nice bar by the pool. We've had drinks from there before. 
and they have a running trail this resort is just amazing every time we come for a long vacation we always visit this resort Trader Sam's is closed I've heard nothing but good things and there's Captain Cook's let's do this look what we have here mobile order so we ended up getting an entree each and we also got an appetizer because Havana has to eat too so instead of paying so much for a kids meal we got an appetizer we are sitting by Trader Sam's which is a place with really nice drinks I'm sorry I'm like staring at the menu and that place is currently closed and a lot of people are sad about it because supposedly it's really good we've never been but we're sitting outside and it's, it's very nice here Havana just woke up from a nap. Say hi, baby. Hi. Because it's mobile order only. It's all to go. So we got the Thai coconut meatballs here. And it's served on white rice. And this is the appetizer that we got. I don't know if it's really an appetizer. You could get it as a meal too. But it's a pulled pork nachos. And I see some pineapples there. Oh, I think that's going to be good. And Lucas has a, a pork sandwich, Kalu, uh, Aloha. Aloha pork Aloha sandwich. Pork sandwich. You want a fry? And Havana is already asking for fries. Here, Mama. Take a moment to appreciate this food. I am just so excited for those meatballs because you guys have no idea how many vloggers have had those meatballs and I'm so jealous watching from home. How are those chips, Havana? Are they good? So these aren't really nachos, this is their um, homemade potato fries or potato chips. Let me give him a try. Whatever sauce it's on it. I'm gonna give him a try too while we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Havana is as well. Havana is asking for more. <laughs> we are not picky and our baby, she's not picky either. She just doesn't eat a lot, but she eats anything you give her, that child will eat it. Right? Yep, anything. There's another chip, baby. Mmm. What sauce is on it? Spicy mayo. Mmm, mm-hmm. These are good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so I'm gonna try the actual pork. It's probably the same pork on your sandwich. It looks the same. So, cheers. Tastes like pulled I'm pork. I'm gonna try too. That's good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge pineapple fan, but I like the flavoring of everything with it. I love pineapple. Yeah. Especially when you combine it with meat. Let me give this Thai coconut meatballs a try. And they're served on white rice. I'm going to try the meat first. They're humongous. They're, they're really big. Okay. Oh, they got a little kick to it. I love it. This is this is what I like. I don't know if it's the coconut what you taste. There, it's definitely sweet, but it's also spicy. That is so good. And it's only nine dollars. That's not bad for Disney prices, right? So I got the Aloha pork sandwich and now I'm gonna give my sandwich a try. So there's that sandwich. Probably the same pulled pork that's on the nachos. I already kind of know what I'm dealing with, but let's see what it tastes like on a bun. That's really good. Is it? I like the cucumbers and the tomato and the slaw that's on it. It has a nice crunch to it. I mean, the pork's the same, but it's really good pork, so I'll eat it on the nacho or I'll eat it on the sandwich. Yeah, the pork tastes pretty good. It's not overbearingly like, barbecue-y, which I like. I like that too. But I do like a lot of barbecue sauce mm -hmm. at the same time on certain things. But I can definitely say if this was a really saucy sandwich, I wouldn't like it. But I, like I said, I like the crunch, the crispness of the vegetables on it. It's just all around a good sandwich, guys. Really good sandwich. <laughs> We're just having a great time here. There's a breeze. Sometimes the wind goes a little crazy. <laughs> but other than that, really good, 
outside the parks dining experience and I recommend you guys try this I really do yeah it's really good guys and just so you know yeah. if you do get a sandwich like he did you can get the house made uh, potato chips you don't have to get french fries so it's just a quick little like lunch review yeah a little lunch review today from Captain Cook's yep yeah nice really little good. place off the beaten path mm -hmm. within walking distance of Magic Kingdom if you want to get food outside the park which we always do we always do especially Magic Kingdom the yeah, food, not just, the best. It just doesn't Not the do best. It. But you have Polynesian, you have Contemporary, and you have Grand Floridian, all within walking distance. Yeah. So I think every restaurant here at Poly are good. In food, Kona Cafe is delicious. One day we'll do a review there. We've been, but again, we weren't vlogging back then. No. But yeah, I really recommend that you come and try this place. We, I, Both of us do. Yeah. Both of us do. I will put the menu on a link on the comments section. Yep. So, so you guys you can guys... check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All you right, guys, guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Give we it a subscribe. It. <laughs> and ring the notification bell to get more updates from us. Mm -hmm. Thank All you right, guys. for watching. Bye. Until next time.